it's Shelby Michelle with Farmhouse Living and welcome back to our channel. So tomorrow morning we are hosting friends. We are doing a progressive brunch home tour where everyone gets to enjoy each other's Christmas and each other's homes. And so what that looks like is us creating the drink, the next person creating the appetizer, and then the next person creating the full course. Yeah, full course meal. So we are luckily the drink people because we love coffee so we're excited but what that looks like for us tonight is crafting and in the kitchen creating a wonderful experience for our friends so we are going to show you our process in making our coffee cocoa bar mm -hmm. and couldn't decide coffee cocoa so we did both yeah i'm I was 100% coffee. I was 100% cocoa. So that's kind of what happened. That's what happened. No compromise, just <laughs> <laughs> just do it all. But we, I mean, luckily they kind of go hand in hand, so no problems there. So we're gonna start by making some syrups. We have, we didn't make the syrup recipes, but we did find them on the internet and we will link them. And then making a pretty display for our friends. And we are using our Cricut today. Cricut is the sponsor of this video. We are new to the Cricut world, but I'm officially a Cricut lady. Like all- It's true. We love it because uh, we found that it's, you know, you think it's just like, you can do just this, that. You have this idea of you can only do so many things, but it's endless. Endless. Endless, endless ideas. <laughs> we have, we, we, we just have too many even to articulate. Yeah, so we're gonna do a lot of fun things for our guests to know what's going on, whether that's gifts, coffee, all things with the Cricut, so. Okay, we just have a big board we're gonna use as a cachouterie board for little things that go along with coffee and cocoa. We have these little raspberry tarts, and I'm just gonna stack everything, and then I'll move it around as I see fit. Um, I'm going to use this as a centerpiece, the sweet little reindeer and chocolate Christmas trees. This gave me inspiration because it's cocoa. And this right here is also something that we love. These are mini cranberry orange scones. So the raspberry tarts, the cranberry scones, that was kind of my staple. Just around it, I'm gonna do something that you often see on a cachouterie board, some almonds. But these almonds are sugar-coated for Christmas. We're gonna use some actual real pine cones just to sprinkle around as just something fun and festive and Christmassy. Of course, you have to have marshmallows when you're going to do a cocoa bar and peppermint. And just like a simple cachouterie board, you use ramekins or little glass bowls, anything you have to hold the loose items that you want to sprinkle or use a spoon. So we'll put those there. And then we have these yummy white chocolate pretzels. They just looked fun and inviting in the grocery store, so I bought them along with some cinnamon apples. Cinnamon dried apples. How yummy is that? Again, you don't want to cover your board so much that you can't label your little items. And we're also going to use a plate for some other yummy pastries. Anytime you sprinkle anything with powdered sugar, it says Christmas. And that is all you need to do. Just find a few items that you know that you love and that your guests will enjoy. Put them on a big board. We've even used baskets before. You can see in another video where we labeled a large white basket on some butcher block paper so that we could do our s'mores board. So sometimes if you don't have a board large enough for family and friends, you can find something bigger or use several boards. I've done that as well. Or if you're really 
really into it, you can use your entire wood table. That is called a grazing table. <laughs> but we just have three friends. So, <laughs> voila. Totally <all> got guys. <laughs> We don't have any more friends than that. Just three. We will never have any room for a grazing table. white chocolate syrup if someone wants a white chocolate mocha and then we're also going to have a gingerbread syrup which I got from the blog Half Big Harvest if you've never been to that blog I mean you have to have been to that blog it's incredible and even if you just go to look at her pictures of food it's like a magazine so and then this I can't remember the blog but I found this uh, white chocolate mocha but it's uh, pretty simple recipe and I'll link it down below as well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna label these bottles and Luckily, I'm pretty efficient with my espresso machine I have just a simple Breville and we'll be able to make if people want to use the syrups in their lattes Mom and I will be able to make them a really delicious latte with their choice of homemade syrup but if you do want to serve your guests coffee and you don't have an espresso machine, you can still make these syrups and make a coffee bar with a normal coffee pot. So you can steam milk on your stove. I've seen people, they will froth their milk in a jar, like they'll put it in a jar and just shake really aggressively. That will froth your milk so you can do a, a, what is called a cafe au lait, which is just your standard coffee, a little bit of syrup, and then your foamy milk on top. So you don't have to have an espresso machine to make this happen. The homemade syrup is really where the magic is at. to arrive in about an hour so we have some last minute fluffing to do it's a lot of fun these are the details that I feel like make the biggest difference make memories and honestly they're just fun for your guests and fun for you so mom is gonna give you some ideas on um, like goodies what are you calling this like um, just hostess treats so yeah. whenever we have people over I like to give them a little something it doesn't have to be expensive these are just some little lemon cypress. They were from our um, trip to Central Market. Seven dollars. Don't tell my friends that I'm. They're cheap, guys. <laughs> cheap, but but seriously, once we um, use the Cricut and put their initials, monogram them, personalize them, it's going to be special, and it's something that they'll love because these are plant ladies. Yeah. So we know our friends love plants. It could be something as simple as. Like with this, we could put coffee in a coffee mug. You right. could do like a little treat bag. You could, I mean, there's a million Hershey's ideas. Hershey's hot cocoa kisses in a coffee mug. Yeah, but Just really fun. anything with a ribbon on it and maybe a little <laughs> name tag 
<laughs> and you look like you are just the superstar yeah. of the party. So, <laughs> okay, mom. So I'm gonna uh, work on the coffee bar while you. All right. So I've just pulled some ribbon out of the closet, and I'm going to cut it. And if I can get these scissors to get through it and tie it around because I'm literally going to leave it in the little plant pot that it came in. And this is going to dress it up. Yep. And voila. And even when it's a little bit messy and not perfect, we call that rustic, whether it's in the kitchen or, you know, the, I was watching, um, again, Magnolia Network's Joanne Gaines cooking show and her pan was messy and she's like, now this is a rustic dough. So when something doesn't look perfect, but it's still cute, you just rust. But I think this is cute. Okay, Honestly, great. I think that's a good job. Awesome. Okay, so now we're going to use our little tag. I have not completely adhered this. Okay. So what we've done is we've just used the Cricut to make single initials. So our friends are Michelle and Shannon. And the good thing about this, like all the fonts, is you can get handwritten looking fonts. And so it almost looks like you made it for them, like you wrote on it or something. And again, that's like the, it's a whimsical rustic feeling. prepared for our friends arrival they will be here in about 30 minutes we've got our coffee station we've got our gifts we've got a little cute like charcuterie board all made with our Cricut you can definitely do this setup without a Cricut but I feel like it's a bonus and I wanted to talk about a couple of the uses I plan on using my Cricut after the holidays because as I've been using it I've quickly learned that this is not just for crafts this is for people who love to entertain, people who love to give gifts, and you know what, more than anything, it's for people who like organization. I have started labeling everything, <laughs> anything and everything, because it can cut, it's a cutting machine is essentially what a Cricut is, and so you can make, you know, labels for your baskets, labels for your bottles. Does we this mean that we're going to have an organization of my pantry coming soon? My pantry. <laughs> My pantry. <laughs> but whose pantry deserves? Who deserves a pantry? Vote below. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so I have quickly fallen for the cricket. So a couple of our practice projects before this was when we did mom's patio spruce up. We made a s'mores charcuterie board. So if you're looking for some outdoor entertainment ideas, that's a really good one. We also made a reindeer like gift basket or reindeer gift, treats reindeer treat basket for when santa arrives because his reindeer need a treat too yeah he gets cookies now that <laughs> we didn't make anything for santa <laughs> <laughs> we'll get something but anyways those are really great ideas for you to decorate spruce up and have some fun if you have a cricket so it's a great gift idea if you don't have a gift idea for someone the cricket or if you are looking for something for your list add a Cricut to it, tell your people, I want a Cricut. If you enjoyed this coffee bar, make sure to tune in to next week because next Friday we'll be sharing all of our friends' little setups that they have. We'll be going from mom's house to our first friend Michelle's house and then our next friend Shannon's house. And we're going to be exploring their Christmas and enjoying all the hard work that they put in to make their homes beautiful and also enjoying a progressive brunch. So we'll be sharing their setup as well as well as their 
home decor and their ideas because they all have different, you know, accents that we don't have in our own homes. So yeah. All right. So like, subscribe, share these videos with your friends. It's Christmas Palooza around here. Yep. All so, right. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.